Stevie Fast Jackson KTR here with another episode of the Fast Lane presented by Holly EFI. Today on this episode, we're going to go over pedaling strategy and how to not launch your hood scoop into the grandstands. Now a lot of you guys that have nitrous cars, when you're out there running me, you're trying to catch me because you're about two tenths too slow. You'll have to pedal your cars, drag radial cars will wheelie all the time, big tire pro nitrous cars will shake the tires. Uh, when they do that, a lot of bad stuff can happen. So today we're going to go over some tips on how to program your pedaling strategy as well as turn the nitrous off before your intake manifold lens in the stands. We're going to open up our nitrous tab. We've got basically just a basic four system uh, nitrous setup today. What's awesome about Holly EFI's nitrous function is the adjustments that you can make are nearly endless. You can make it as simple as you want to or as complicated as you want to. Um, something that a lot of people forget to enable is minimum and maximum RPM. Now what this is, is the minimum RPM that the nitrous, that the engine has to reach to arm the nitrous and activate it, and the maximum. So what I generally do on this is if I'm going to leave the starting line at 3,500 RPMs, I just have that as a flat 3,000, 3,200. Something that when I'm going up and down on launch RPM, I'm not going to get close to and have to change all the time. Generally, if my nitrous enable switch is on and I have the minimum TPS set, uh, if I have my gas pedal on the floor and I'm at 3,000, I'm ready to go. Uh, maximum, I generally set this 200 RPMs below whatever the maximum engine rev limiter that you have. Uh, this engine I have set at 8,200 RPMs for the maximum rev limiter. My maximum nitrous is 8,000. And what that does is that gives me a 200 RPM window to turn the nitrous off, get the manifold evacuated before it hits the rev limiter and the scoop heads into the stands. The next thing we want to talk about is pedaling strategy. All different kinds of ways you can do this and everybody's got a different opinion on it. I'll share you mine, share with you mine and what I do. So on a four stage kit, uh, Generally, I'm going to have one kit comes on as soon as you re-smack the throttle. Say you go out there, car's in a wheelie. One second into the run, you pedal it. You stand back in it. You do not want four stages of nitrous to come back on. You can program it like that. I don't want it to have to retime all four kits. So I have all my stuff on a programmable restart. We're going to run through how to set that up and what it actually does. I get calls and questions all the time about the pedaling control and what makes it work, what do you want to do, what's best. Uh, so we're going to run through some of the basics there. So my first stage, I'm going to have what's called pause enabled. Pause enabled means wherever your nitrous system was in the course of the run, pause enabled is going to bring it right back there when it reaches the parameters it has to do to turn back on. So say I pedal the throttle, I come below my TPS threshold, all four systems turn off. When I smack the throttle and it gets at 90% or whatever you got it set at, if I'm past the first kit being on, which you will be, I want that first kit, boom, right now. I need some power. If I'm up in the air, I need some power to set it down easy. If my man's out in front of me, I need some power to go get him. So I'm going to leave a kit on, pause enabled. I want that instant power right there. I'm going to run stages two, three, and four in a programmable restart mode to where they basically retime on what I tell them. You can also set those for a full timer reset or pause enabled. Some guys will like to bring two kits back on right on the pedal. Uh, my first kit's pretty big, so one of it's pretty much enough to outrun most of you nitrous cars. Like stage two, I'm gonna bring on with a programmable restart with a stage restart time of three tenths. Three tenths of a second after it meets the TPS threshold, it's gonna bring that kit back on. Stage three, same thing, programmable restart, four tenths back on, stage four, five tenths. So what that's gonna give you is a smooth curve of nitrous coming back on when you have to pedal it. 
So when I'm out there on you at the 330 and you're trying to run me down or your car's slow or you got some children's EFI from another manufacturer and you're blowing the tires off, if your hood scoop's still bolted down, that'll help you pedal it a little easier. Uh, radial tire cars, we smoke the tires a lot. You gotta be able to pedal it good. You're gonna have those rounds in, el in eliminations where you have to pedal it. Hopefully this will help you make a better run and keep your manifold out of the stands. We're gonna open up on our YouTube channel a special segment of YouTube Q&A specifically de dedicated to Holly EFI. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the like button, feel free to comment with your questions, click on the bell icon. That's gonna let you be notified as soon as we release new content so you don't miss anything. Thank <laughs> you.